Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Alcatel Idol 4S with Windows 10. Um, you've probably heard the rumors about this device. It's had a few names over the course of those rumors. Uh, Idol 4S Pro, Idol Pro 4. Obviously they settled on Idol 4S with Windows 10. Now, don't get this confused with the Android version of the Idol 4S, which you would probably think is exactly the same. It's not. This guy has a Snapdragon 820 chipset, which is the latest flagship chipset from Qualcomm. The Android version is a Snapdragon 652, which is a mid-range chipset. This one has a 1080p AMOLED display. The Android version has 1440p, which is a little strange if you ask me, because this, well, like the Android one, it comes with a VR headset. And personally, I think 1080p is just fine for a display you really don't need anything more than that, at least on a phone. But when you're going with VR, that res extra resolution does matter. All right, so let's get this open, which, by the way, it's pretty cool that they're going with VR because no one's really done VR with, with Windows 10 Mobile or any Windows phone. So that's pretty cool. I have the Elite X3 as well, so there's going to be comparisons there. Let's see what we got here. We've got instructions from T-Mobile. By the way, this phone is ex uh, SIM key. This phone is exclusive to T-Mobile. Oh, the phone is right here. So be careful if you get this phone and you open this box. It will just come right at the top like that. It's exclusive to T-Mobile, which means that there is no unlocked model. If you go into a Microsoft store, um, the T-Mobile model is all they'll have if they have it at all. And there, it's not being sold in other regions. It's T-Mobile only. So clearly they, they won't sell that many of these. Um, the same with the, the Fierce XL, which was the last Windows phone that came out of Alcatel. All right, we had to throw that on the old USB-C charger because the battery was dead coming out of the box. So that's another thing to be aware of. Let's see what else is in here. All right. It's not the easiest box to open, but that's fine. Lots of, lots of big flaps. And here is the VR headset which um, is obviously more than your, your standard Google Cardboard type device. I'm guessing you pop it open this way. There it goes. All right, so we got straps here. There's the inside. It's covered. Um, it's interesting, though, because no one, no one has done VR with Windows 10 Mobile, so I'm not sure what kind of content there's going to be. I know Alcatel has, is releasing some VR apps, that um, you'll at least be able to play back VR content that you have. Um, I, I don't know what else there will be. It's going to be interesting to see. Like I said, I have the, the HP Elite X3 here. Like the Alcatel Idol 4S with Windows 10, it has a Snapdragon 820 chipset, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, but they have very different selling points. The Elite X3, this is for businesses. It's made for businesses. Cost six hundred ninety nine dollars. If you want the desk stock, it's seven hundred ninety nine dollars total. But the Idol Four S is four hundred and sixty nine dollars. Uh, similar specs, probably a better camera. Um, Twenty one megapixels. The the Elite X Three is sixteen megapixels. That doesn't mean anything. We'll do camera testing. I'm going to compare these two things, these two phones, at some point. Uh, one thing I notice about the packaging here is that there's no charger in the box. We got the VR headset. Um, the straps and everything, all that's there. And we got instructions. We got the phone. They even sent me a case to go along with it. But I don't see a charger anywhere, and this box is completely empty now. So if I'm missing something, these, these, this packaging is empty. There's no charger here. There's a little getting started guide for the, for the VR. All right, so I was totally wrong about where the power button was. It would probably help if I read the instructions that were that were <laughs> that were on the little plastic cover. But this is the power button over here. This is the dedicated camera button over here. Kind of looks like a power button, though, right? Am I crazy? I don't know. But um, you can see that it is a, a very beautiful phone. I mean, stunning. This is it's it's similar in design to a Samsung uh, with the glass back, the you know. Metallic glass back. You got a fingerprint scanner back here, by the way. Even the camera looks like a Samsung a little bit, right? Um, yeah, so the fingerprint scanner is for Windows Hello. This is new to the anniversary update. The first phone to be released 
The first Windows phone to be released with a fingerprint scanner was the HP Elite X3. That's also on the back. This seems to be the trend with newer phones is to put the fingerprint scanner on the back. Some phones I really like it, like um, like the Elite X3, like the Nexus 5X. Some I really don't. The LG V20, just the placement just doesn't work for me. Maybe it's because I use so many, so I don't get used to a single one. Uh, so these apps are going to finish installing, and then we can play around with the phone a little bit. Well, the apps have been installing for about four minutes, but good news, everybody. I have found the charger. There we go. We got a power adapter, which is probably USB type A. Um, and we have a, yeah, it is USB type A. And we have a type A to type C cable right here. It was inside the VR helmet. Nuts, right? I guess that's a way to preserve packaging space. But there is a charger, so we have everything we need here. There's a charger, there's the VR headset, there's the phone. Again, by the way, this phone is super thin and light. It, um, and when I say it's similar to a Samsung, obviously I don't mean it's a copy, because it's definitely not a copy. You can see that the front is, uh, it actually reminds me a little bit of the OnePlus One, the way that you kind of have the speakers coming out over here in the metal frame there. Um, and then with a Samsung-ish back. But obviously there's no home button. I don't think you could have a physical home button on a Windows phone. I'd have to look into that. The apps have finally finished installing. Probably took about six minutes. You know, I kind of feel like Windows phones take longer and longer to do this. This is the fastest mobile processor. Well, Snapdragon 821 is the fastest processor on the market now. Um, so, yeah, we'll wait for it to load. Yeah, SIM error. By the way, they sent it to me without a SIM card in it. So... I'll have to, I, you know, I do obviously have extra SIM cards. We got our Windows camera app there. I always look at the camera app. Maybe that's because I'm a bit of a, a smartphone camera nerd. But the camera apps have always fasc fascinated me. Um, when you had the HTC One M8, you had the HTC camera app. The Nokia's had uh, Nokia camera and later Lumia camera. Uh, now it seems that everyone is, well, oh, this touchscreen doesn't seem to be working too well, does it? Second time I accidentally opened something. Um, now everybody seems to stick with Windows Camera, which, by the way, Windows Camera is great. Um, it's Lumia Camera, but for everybody, pretty much. There's a T-Mobile app here. There's a couple apps that you might not want. Luckily, it's Windows Phone, so anything that's not an actual system app can be uninstalled. Uh, Captain Felcraft VR. I don't know about that. I don't know what that is. Um, VR360 Gallery. Lot, lots of VR apps there. I gotta say, I'm a little nervous about it. I've seen plenty. I've seen plenty of phones show up in the Windows Phone market, and they have this cool new feature, and it's supported by apps like that. And the apps just don't get updated. They fall behind other devices that do the same thing that run Android. And I, you know, it, it worries me. I, I'd love it if Alcatel proves me wrong on that. I'm not. It's not a prediction or anything. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to pop a SIM card in here. I can't review this phone until November 10th, um, which, by the way, shout out to Alcatel on this for, for having a review embargo and letting us do unboxings and stuff. So, um, once again, I just want to recap. We got the SIM card here, I mean, the, the SIM pin here, the VR headset, which comes apart into different pieces which is by the way is awesome i got a i got a gear vr and all you get is is this front piece and the the cover here and then you, you end up having to clean dust out of this this inside part here so it's it's cool that the, that it comes completely covered um straps we got the charger which again there is a charger um i don't know why if, you know i just couldn't find the charger at first it happens i guess um, there's the camera button there. And this should record video at, at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I, I kind of love holding this phone. It's really, it's just, a, it's a cup. Oh, there is no 60 frames per second. Okay. I always check that because that is one of my favorite features. You'll see that all of my YouTube videos are recorded at 1080p, 60 frames per second. All right. Um, 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, that's the only options we're giving here. You can't lower the resolution on the photos, which... Kind of sucks when you have a 21 megapixel camera. You don't always want to get a 21 megapixel photo. Wow, I, I am going to hit that button as the power button quite a bit. It's going to take a little getting used to. 
All right. Um, so yeah, phone's super thin, super light, super comfortable to hold. Um, the screen is beautiful. I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference between that and 1440p, but you probably will when you use the VR. And I'm also curious to see if the VR can be used with other devices. And we'll find all that out um, as I test it. Probably the first thing you'll see from me is a comparison between this phone and the HP Elite X3. Because those are the two Windows phones on the market that have the Snapdragon 820 chipset. And they're really the only high-end phones that you can get right now. So it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is only from T-Mobile. Um, you're not going to get an unlocked phone. You could probably buy it. And if you know someone who's used T-Mobile for a while, you could probably get it unlocked. But don't quote me on that. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.